Thank you, Burger King, for allowing Forda's strategy partners to present to you our strategic audit and to lay out what we think is the best strategic roadmap for Burger King going forward. Our agenda today is that we will give Burger King a 360 degree analysis of Burger King as it stands today. And based on that analysis, we will give you our options. And first of all, just a little bit more about our analysis. Our analysis is based on speaking with current employees, current executives, to key business partners, and also to your franchisees. And again, from this analysis, we'll give you um, a few strategic options. And from these strategic options, we will give you our one recommended option of what we think would be the best for Burger King. And then we will conclude with an executive summary. Telling you a little bit more about our team, um, for the strategy partners, um, we have comprises of Stephen Ward, who has over 20 years of experience in the QSR and hospitality management industry. We also have Natasha Bastian, who brings to us over 10 years um, of experience in the industry. Also, Denise Pernas and myself, Ricardo Johnson, who I'm a former Burger King executive. Going straight away into your current strategy. One of the things that we've seen is that Burger King has focused on what we call the super fan. And the super fan are adults who are 18 to 34 years old. Um, they normally visit a Burger King over 10 times per month. However, and also what we've seen is that you have focused majority of your marketing towards this demographic, the superfan demographic. However, one of the things that we have seen is that this demographic, the superfan, were disproportionately affected by the recent recession. And as such, their buying power has significantly shrunk and they're no longer visiting Burger King over 10 times or even less than three times a month at this point. And they've also adapted to other healthier eating habits. Also, since most of your marketing dollars were geared towards this demographic with your more edgy commercials, this, we believe, has alienated a much broader consumer segment. And also, it's been accurately um, reported in numerous trade magazines that this has really angered a lot of your franchisees who are really disenfranchised with the marketing focus to the super fan. Secondly, we've noticed that you have another strategy that you've gone about is the restaurant refresh. And while it's been exciting to see the the, 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 the returns on that where you're experiencing 12 to 15 percent um, boost in revenues for restaurants that has been re refurbished or refreshed. We also see that the cost is pretty exorbitant from a low of 300,000 to over 600,000 to refurbish these restaurants. And again, these are costs that must be wholly um, Come on, you know your, your 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 franchisees bear the complete cost of this refurbishing. We think that is cost prohibitive, and you will further alienate many of your franchisees globally to continue with this. The other thing that we've seen that you've strategy that you have currently employed is your portfolio management or your refranchising. And we know that currently 90% of over 90% of your global restaurants are franchised and you're moving towards further franchise ownership where you want that percentage to be 95% franchise. And we think that this is actually a very good strategy because this requires less capital from Burger King corporate as most of these franchisees will bear the brunt of the, um, the capital cost. Um, this will also reduce Burger King Burger King's risk um, and we are very much in favor of this strategy and we'll speak about this um, a little bit more. Another thing that we've seen, another significant event was your recent, your cost reduction 
And we've also seen that recently Burger King was purchased in October of 2010 by 3G Capital and it's now a private company. And with that, we do know that 3G um, plans to take the company um, public again in the next three to five years. And as such, you have done um, a massive cost reduction. And I think it's nine out of your 10 senior executives, majority, if not all, of their direct reports, as well as over 45% of your corporate staff was recently eliminated or downsized. And we think that is a significant um, reduction in know-how. And also, we do know that with 3G Capital's um, principles being of Brazilian um, origin, this, however, does present an incredible opportunity for growth internationally. And we think the growth portion of this is a positive sign because the current U.S. market is saturated and has excessive uh, competition.